Dom Link is your boy Ink with another review, another episode. It is season 5, episode 4 of Love is Blind. And it's, get it, get a seat, it's a bumpy ride. Let's get right into it because it's going to be a long video. Uh, I'm super excited to talk about this with you guys. Uh, my apologies. So first of all, we have Uche and Alaya. So big reveal, Uche and Lydia, Alaya's best friend, used to date. So this is kind of like a drama peak, right? Imagine your best, your best bro, um, dating your ex girl, and it wasn't that long ago. So at first you're like, well, Alaya, she's super chill about it. She's like, yo, uh, we're similar, and she always tell me we're similar. She needs that to think about it because Uche wasn't really honest and didn't tell her. But I understand that. I don't want to be mean, but if you know Lydia, she's a lot. So I kind of understand where he's coming from, right? Do I think that he made the right thing? No. Do I understand where he's coming from? Yes. Do I excuse an action if people understand you? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. No. Um, the, the conversation was pretty cool. They, they had a lot of similarities. And you really feel like uh, Yuchi is being genuine towards Alaya. So at least there's that. Uh, there's coming to talk to uh, Lydia Tung, talks to to Alaya and Lydia once again is so pushy she's making Alaya uncomfortable and then I keep telling her I don't need to need that um that about our car or favorite color and she Alaya realized that Lydia knows Uche way more than she does and that makes her uncomfortable which is to be expected right uh, my apologies so yeah so that's that's um that's really bad for her then we learned a bomb Lydia and Alaya has been sleeping uh uh, Lydia slept with Uche three months ago. So, although they weren't in a relationship, so it's technically not cheating. Uh, Uche didn't say that, and that's fucked up. That's really shitty, bro. That's really shitty. I'm sorry. But really shitty. So, do better, bro. Do better. Um, I'm, 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 I'm trying to be better because... What do I know about relationship? But Uche was mad about Alaya for cheating, which is horrible. And they weren't they, together. They were cheating. But he, he slept with a girl on the show three months ago. And he didn't say her. So it does feel unauthentic, it does feel ungenuine. But again, you have to take you have to keep in mind that Lydia is very pushy. So we don't know the whole situation. Maybe she didn't want or didn't feel like doing it and it happened. You know, who knows? Then again, I told you guys it's a big episode. We got Izzy and Stacy uh going out together. And it's weird because I do see, I do see a relationship, I do see a, a link, but if you asked, if you told me Izzy was going to end up with uh, Stacy, I would have not believed it. I thought it was going to be ending up with Johnny. Right. But they're together, they, they're asking, uh, Izzy asked for the end of Stacy. she said yes. There's a second couple after JP and Taylor, as he's married. I do think they, they, you see, it's weird. I do, I do really believe in the couple because, um, I'm not trying to be a dick, but Izzy being born as a Mormon, being born in a very, very strict household. And Stacey was a bit more aloof, was a bit more um, relaxed, you know? It does it does feel like they're, they're balancing out, so it's pretty cool. Um, what I dislike is Johnny after she she talks about, she's trying to, to, she's trying to reason as to why they wouldn't have worked out. She's trying to put Izzy down, which I understand you're her girl, you don't need to be putting Izzy down. And... She does put easy down, but it doesn't feel like she's trying to be mean. It feels like a coping mechanism. Like, she's like, oh, well, it would have to work either way, right? And right after, we have the side scene where Chris, because she wanted to talk back to Chris. And again, just like Milton, it's f her first choice didn't work. So go to the second choice. And the second choice, it shouldn't feel, and he really likes her. And I gotta, I gotta give a prop to Chris. I do like Johnny. I think she's cool. But Chris, I know how hard it is. He's like, nah, you, I wasn't your first choice. And you, you stopped talking to me, which is normal. But I had to put myself first, which is so hard because he does love her. So it's super hard. And um, we'll see how that works. We'll see if Johnny was being honest about her feelings toward um, Chris. Yeah. There's a lot of shit going on, brah. You miss a lot. You miss a shit ton. Then we have a date between uh, Uche and Alaya after the fact of Lydia. And the conversation seemed to go well. But at the end, Alaya, she, she gets it under experiment. So she's not going to finish with Uche. Uh, Uche did have some really good save. And it sucks. It sucks so bad. Okay, because... There was a really cool moment at the beginning of the episode. There was a really, really cool moment where 
Elias is like, I know you dated this guy. I'm willing to forgive it. I understand it. We'll get through it. She knew they dated, but she didn't know they slept together not that long ago. And then she says, yo, you lied. And Uche had a chance of coming out and saying, yeah, we used to date. And there's a cool part about... There's a really cool part about Lydia wanting to try again with Uche. And Uche is being like, nah. And admittedly, I respect Uche because Uche is like, no, I didn't I didn't love her. I didn't want to make, give her hope, false hope, right? Because some people are going to be there too for fame, right? For for celebrity, um, for notoriety, for clout. And Lydia, I'm, I'm not trying to be a dick. She was a sure thing because they used to date, right? And it does feel like Lydia, she's willing to accept love sadly from Anybody that's willing to give it to her, which can lead to some pretty disappointing relationship, I know. Um, then we have a relationship between uh, Milton and Lydia, and Lydia tells him about Uche and the fact that they slept together. It's crazy, okay? It's crazy because uh, Lydia, admittedly, she's a lot, she's a lot to handle. I don't want to be a dick, but you know, she's a lot to handle, uh, and she does say the truth, and she did wait too long. So Milton's like, I need five minutes, but. We say to Lydia because Lydia right away said, "Yeah, we used to we used to date. We slept together three months ago." So she didn't wait. She didn't wait for it to come out, like kind of like Uche did. So respect for that. Although she's more to handle, she's at least she's being more um, forthcoming than Uche. So I did respect that. Um, again, Alaya she doesn't come to the date, so it leads us to Stacy and Izzy meeting up. And I gotta say, I love this because. We understand, okay? We understand that there's a group of people. I don't even know how much they are. They're probably 20. Last season, there were four couple. So, we have a 10 episode. And I do like the fact that they put... And the episode, they put JP and Taylor. This episode, they put Stacey and Izzy. That way, it doesn't feel too pushy. It doesn't feel too rushed. It doesn't feel like it's too much. At the same time, it's a can deeper episode. The meeting goes super well. There's this chemistry, and admittedly, they're, they're super comfortable with each other. And that's that's coming back to what I was saying about how Izzy and Stacy are kind of chill at the same time. JP and Taylor, they had to me a more normal reaction as a uh, yo, um, we just met. I know you, but I we just met, so chill. As Stacy and Izzy, they had this this extreme bond right away, and they're like, yo. It's really working. I think you're cute. You think I'm cute. Let's get married. Um, which I think low, short, short term is the meaning you want. But it feels very friendly. And I know what you're going to say. Oh, Inky, uh, you should be best friend with your, your, your partner, right? And you should. Uh, however, if, um, if it's too close to friendship in a very early stage like this, it can lead to a, a friendship relationship based on friendship. Nothing wrong with that. But relationship based on friendship are more often than not friends on. Right? I wouldn't be I wouldn't be in a relationship with somebody I called a, a really good friend. Not because I don't if I had a girlfriend and she became my friend, amazing. Um but I was a guy who was in a relationship with a girl that was his friend and uh it felt the same as in the friend zone. But you had less liberty because now you're you're monogamous, right? So, am I trying to slut me out by saying, no, I don't want to be uh, in a relationship with a friend? Possibly. Um, I just feel like, I wouldn't feel comfortable knowing I'm a friend because I'd be like, yo, maybe she's looking for love somewhere else. Maybe I'm nuts. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it's this song. I love you guys. I'll see you guys after for episode five. And that's all that matters. I could rap. I could rap. I could sing. Let's have a fling. Season blind. Season five. So far is my favorite thing. I'm trying to rhyme from time to time for a song that is both yours and mine. But now I gotta press stop because it came atop. Too corny. Love you guys. Peace.